Hello to everybody. I'm duly and deeply sorry that I couldn't attend your discussions and panel today because of uh, other engagements. I would have liked to do that more than many of the things in my life because the topic that you are debating is very close to my heart. The question, how do we live uh, uh, with nature, in harmony with the nature, and the question, what are the rights of the nature? I think that there's something very fundamental still going on in our learning process, even though some philosophers, some religions, some indigenous peoples have found these uh, roots and grounds, as well as scientists, early, early, early on. The question is, what is our place in the nature and what are the rights and places uh, of the other creatures and living beings and non-living beings in the planet? One could say that in this silo thinking that we are living, we are actually destroying the planet and ourselves. One could say that the dualist and deepest part of the racism still exists not only towards the other people, but towards the other species, who say we have the right to kill some animals because we do not like them, who says we have the right to dictate where the uh, mammals or fishes can stay, who says we do the, uh, have the right to benefit all the resources, the seas and the land in the world, and set aside the rest of the species. And who says we have the right to decide where the animals and how the animals can exist and how do we treat them when we are used them as uh, production uh, living beings in, in dif different parts of the production. And is our food production, for example, in big parts at all ethical. Well, uh, I think I said a uh, big part of the problem is that we are so sort of a, a silo-based thinking of biodiversity, biodiversity, emissions, development, uh, economy, so on, so on, so on. And actually, this is where the sustainable development goals are trying to tackle. This is something what the great scientists are trying to explain from Stephen Hawking and Edward O. Wilson and others, that we are living ecosystem and probably much bigger uh, living and interacted uh, uh, system called universe or multiverses. And we then, human beings in the planet, at the same time we are individuals, like the cells in my finger, are individuals. They have their own role and their lifespan. But at the same time, they make sense and they can live only as a part of the bigger entity that is called me. We human beings are individual at the same time, but so are quarks and so are actually uh, quants or atoms. But we are totally part of our ecosystems. What we breathe, what we drink, what we uh, eat, what is our impact. And that is in social level when it goes to other cultures and other people. This is quite literally in physical level. And uh, this is ecosystem level and on the level of our relations with other species. And you have to have the enlightenment. You have to understand this concept of being just a cell on a fingertip. To really put the right rights and the values on the right place. But then the biggest challenge, and I think that the UN is more than a fit for a place for that, is how do you reflect that on rights-based uh, approach? We have a human rights declaration. How could we have nature rights declaration and species declarations? And on the convention, 
and uh, legislation level. There, I think that uh, we have to go back on the old discussion uh, <coughs> about the Earth Charter and this kind of a framework legislation for nature and nature protection, and that concerns biodiversity, the different uh, parts of the ecosystem and the ecosystem services. So they do have a prerequisite place on our living. But that goes as well uh, on the issues like how we use our resources. You can't overconsume consume them. They are our common natural heritage. And that goes to other, uh, other, uh, other parts of the uh, nature, natural capital, and our relation to that. That might be something uh, in the lines what Macron has proposed to EU and hopefully EU is eagerly pushing forward of having this kind of a framework environmental legislation convention about nature and nature capital and right in the EU. You are an invaluable part of this debate and discussion. I'm looking forward to hearing your comments. I hope that you send me on my email the results of this panel, but not only that, but the good debates, discussions, articles, uh, science referee texts, NGO campaigns on this field. Because I'm really convinced we need to do it. And I'm really convinced we can do it together. And so please have me as a link and a partner in, on this big uh, endeavor to change our way of life in the planet as long when we still have time uh, so that we could live uh, in, in harmony with the nature um, uh, on upcoming years and so that in general the upcoming generations could live uh, on this planet and other species, all wonderful features of the life could exist here.